Hey guys, what's up? John here from flymikealpha.com and today we're going to be talking about airmits and sigmits. So, airmits meteorological information as well as significant meteorological information, basically bad weather and bad news for you and your airplane. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they are, how to read them, where we find them, and what it totally means to us as pilots. So for starters, let's look at our segments. So there's two types of segments. We have convective segments, and then we have just regular old segments. So regular segments are significant meteorological information. Basically, it's going to be severe icing that's not associated with thunderstorms, severe or extreme turbulence, like clear air turbulence, uh, dust storms, sandstorms, anything that lowers the in-flight visibility below three statute miles, and volcanic ash. So... Those are all really bad for airplanes, and it's important to note here, segments are bad for all airplanes. Airmits are bad for little airplanes. Segments are bad for everybody. Severe icing, thunderstorms, dust storms, volcanic ash, that's really bad even to the airliners. So even those guys don't try to go through that. So as we're looking at this map here, we have those two different types of segments on here. We have convective segments, and we have just the regular segment for icing. Then we have another one up here for turbulence, another one over there for turbulence. If we click on them, it's going to give us some information. The San Francisco Center, who put it out. And normally all this information here really defines the boundaries of it. We have a map, so we don't have to deal with all that convoluted, you know, finding this VOR and mapping out 30 miles southwest and then 50 miles northwest of this VOR and blah, blah, and drawing these lines on the map. We can just look at the graphical representation, which makes life a lot easier now in 2017. So... Occasional severe turbulence below 100, below 10,000 feet, due to strong low-level winds and strong updrafts and downdrafts and low-level wind shear reported by aircraft. Conditions continuing beyond 0119 Zulu. So basically, report by aircraft means people are already experiencing this and reporting it to ATC, thus they felt the need to issue this segment. And based on the current conditions, they expect those conditions to continue beyond 0119 Zulu. There is no way in heck I would fly a little GA airplane anywhere near this area when you have strong updrafts and downdrafts reported by aircraft, probably by big airplanes, by airliners. And if they're calling it strong, then it's going to be really bad for you. So I would say the heck way. Plus, it's low level stuff. It's below flight level 100. So that's really nasty. It's all the way from the surface up to 10,000 feet. If we look at this one here, this is again turbulence. And again, San Francisco, we have the boundaries, and it's occasional severe turbulence between flight level 230 and 370 due to wind shear associated with the jet stream reported by aircraft, conditions continuing, blah, blah, blah. So, yes, aircraft are experiencing this. It's between 230 and 370. Flying your Cessna up there, probably not going to be an issue because you won't get up that high. So you could probably fly around this area if there's no other significant weather reported, if you're flying down around four, or 6,000 feet because you're well below 23,000 feet, flight level 230. If we come around here and look at some convective segments, now we can see it's a convective segment, which means really nasty thunderstorms. The conditions that have to exist for it to be called a convective segment is a severe thunderstorm with surface winds greater than 50 knots, hail at the surface greater than or equal to three quarter inch in diameter, tornadoes, or embedded thunderstorms, lines of thunderstorms, or thunderstorms associated with heavier or greater precipitation that affect 40% or more of a 3,000 square mile or greater region. Okay, the last part just kind of, I know it's a lot. So let's just stick with this. Really bad thunderstorms, hail, and tornadoes. Stay the heck away from it. Don't go flying when that sort of stuff's out there. In this case, it's from the surface up to 35,000 feet, flight level 350. It's a line of embedded thunderstorms 35 nautical miles wide, moving from 270, moving from the west at 30 knots, tops going to 35,000 feet. You're not going to climb above it, and if you try to go through it, you'll wind up probably below ground level as those downdrafts and hail push you on down. So, bad idea to go fly your little airplane there. Hopefully this is giving you an idea of what kind of things we're getting with segments. okay? It's real bad stuff. Now let's take a look at airmits, because we said airmits, even if there's airmits out there, those are bad for little airplanes too. And, as it turns out, it's a really bad day to go fly a GA airplane all up in this area. That's just not good stuff going on. So, 
let's just take our pick i guess we'll uh zoom in here and see well yeah this ifr one sure it's uh actually we got a hold of a turbulence one there moderate turbulence from the surface 10,000 feet no kidding there's those nasty thunderstorms in that area there's icing all up in this area because of those thunderstorms ifr conditions again now we can't even click on because there's so many other things going on ifr ceiling below 1,000 visibility below three statute miles precipitation and mist so let's see what else we've got going on low level wind shear turbulence low turbulence high we can click on all these things and get information high level turbulence from flight level 180 up to flight level 380 not such a big deal for us but all the other problems we have with going there is the freezing levels between 3,000 feet and 7,000 feet there's icing there's all sorts of bad stuff going on here and to even click on those things because there's so many I'm probably gonna have to come down here and turn off some of these layers just to get a hold of some of those icing ones that we wanted to get a hold of so I want to actually click on that here we go there's a freezing level due to ice tops to 15,000 feet moderate icing is what people are getting or what they're forecasting really really bad news for you and your little airplane even big airplanes even jets and turboprops things like that get brought down by icing all the time Colgan Air why it's going to take you 1500 hours to get your airline ticket now um, and go fly for the airlines is because of that Colgan Air crash and they were brought down by icing and pilot error so what kind of things do we actually get airmits for well we can see down here yeah icing mountain obscuration ceiling turbulence we actually call them different things though so we actually have airmit sierra for low visibility or mountain obscuration think sierra mist you can't see through the mist so think airmit sierra you can't see sierra mist airmit tango airmit tango is for turbulence and then airmit zulu that's for icing so just process elimination that's the last one t for turbulence sierra for low visibility ifr conditions because sierra mist like the soda now it's also really important to note guys that you're looking at the valid or correct time so you want to be making sure you're looking at the proper time if you're planning a flight a little bit in advance say 12 hours out you'd have to click on that and see what sort of airmits they're forecasting to be in effect at that time now airmits are issued every six hours with intermediate updates issued as needed so just because you don't see an airmit out right now 12 hours out doesn't mean that a few hours from now they couldn't issue another one so ultimately that is our basic overview of segments and airmits here's what i want you to take away from this airmits bad for little airplanes segments bad for all airplanes airmit sierra for ifr or mountain obscuration low visibility airmit tango for turbulence airmit zulu for icing if any of those conditions exist airmits or segments seriously rethink the idea of going and flying your little airplane anywhere it's a great day for flight simulator instead hopefully that was a good explanation for you guys you found that helpful if you have any questions at all leave them in the comments below I'd be more than happy to get back to you answer any questions you do have this is part of our totally free online private pilot ground school at flyatmikealpha.com make sure you check out our free private pilot ground school sign up for it and get prepared for your written and your oral exam today on there has a lot of great prep information on there for you be sure to give us a thumbs up like and subscribe to our youtube channel keep our latest episodes check out our patreon page we greatly appreciate y'all support it really helps us keep this a free online resource for everyone and as always guys if you can't fly every day then fly at mikealpha.com we'll see y'all next time